Hello guys, where I can help, and today we're going to be teaching you the five tips to protect your privacy online. Tip number one is to use strong passwords. This may seem like a no-brainer, but using weak or easy to guess passwords is the easiest way for hackers to get into any of your accounts. When creating a strong password, use a combination of uppercase, lowercase letters, numbers, and even special characters, mixing them all together to create that strong, powerful passcode. As students, we're always using free public Wi-Fi, and it's important that we protect ourselves there because we're very vulnerable using those networks. Installing or downloading a VPN or virtual private network when using public Wi-Fi is a must. The VPN encrypts your data so that it's more difficult for hackers to intercept your data. There's many VPNs across the internet and make sure you do your research to first find one that is credible and strong, but also works for you. Okay, our third tip is to manage your online footprint. But what is your online footprint? Anything that you do online, whether that's posting on social media, going to websites, visiting, shopping. For example, if you're going online and searching the web, it might be a good idea to use incognito mode so your information isn't getting tracked as much. Okay, fourth tip is be careful of the links and downloads that you are clicking on the internet. It's very easy for hackers to put malicious links out on sites or downloads that try to get your personal information, whether that's a login to your Facebook account or even just like your credit card. It's important to be careful what links we're clicking and make sure they're trusted even before you click that button. And finally, our last tip is to make sure your accounts stay your accounts, and that's using two-factor identification. So with this is, when someone tries to log into their accounts, they're gonna need your phone to get in. It's gonna send you a text or you, there's many different apps out there that will send a code that it has to go through that code or through that text to get into your account. So no one can just log into your accounts without being with you and your cell phone. There you have it, the top five tips to keep your privacy to yourself online. And it's important, whenever you're doing anything online, just do your research and make sure you are staying safe.